Hey what's up everybody, in this video. I will be walking you through how to buy the safe moon cryptocurrency in just a few simple steps. For this tutorial, we will be using the trust wallet. Just before we start, let me remind you, that if you like this type of content and you want to see more, give this video a thumbs up below, I really do appreciate it. And if you haven't already, be sure to click on that red subscribe button and turn on the notifications so you get notified when a new video pops up. So let's go ahead and get started. The best and quickest way to buy the safe moon crypto is through the trust wallet. The trust wallet is a decentralized wallet that has access to decentralized applications or dApps for short, its main goal is to make crypto more accessible with an intuitive and easy to understand user interface. We will need to first install the trust crypto and bitcoin wallet, which you can find in the app store or google play store. All you need to do is search for trust, and it should come up. When searching for the trust wallet, it's important to ensure it's the right app and to watch out for imposter applications on the google store. It has over 5 million downloads, for example. And so I know it's it's the right application I'm trying to install. And I actually, already have the trust wallet installed on my device. And so I will go ahead and click open. If this is your first time using the trust wallet, you will be asked to create a new wallet, and to remember a 12-word recovery seed phrase. Or you can think of that as like your password that you will just need to copy and keep in a safe place. This step is very, very important in case you want to import your wallet to other devices. Or if you ever get locked out of the Trust Wallet app, you can use this 12-word recovery phrase to sign back into your wallet and access your crypto. So you see I've opened up the Trust Wallet and I actually don't have any safe moon in my wallet. I also have some other crypto like Smart Chain BNB as well as some Ethereum and Cardano, which is another crypto I'm pretty excited about. So now that you are all set up with your trust wallet, we are almost ready to buy some safe moon. In order to buy safe moon, we first actually need to buy some Binance coin or BNB for short. We will need to have that deposited in our wallet, we will then use this Binance coin to essentially swap it for safe moon, so you won't be able to use Ethereum or Bitcoin to buy safe moon, you can only buy the safe moon crypto using Binance coin or BNB for short. So if you don't already know the Binance coin, it's one of the largest cryptos out there by market cap, I think it's in the top 5, it's really accessible and easy to purchase. So for those located outside of the United States, I'd recommend purchasing BNB from the Binance exchange, which is really one of my favorite exchanges and the largest cryptocurrency exchange in the world. I have the link to the Binance exchange in the video description below. If you use that link, it helps support my YouTube channel and would be greatly appreciated. And for my viewers located in the United States, you actually won't be able to use Binance but instead can use Binance.us to purchase BNB. Again, it's extremely easy to sign up and create an account. I'll have a link for that as well in the video description. And those links to the Binance exchange or Binance.us exchange really help support my YouTube channel and would be greatly appreciated. So once you have successfully purchased BNB, you will need to send it to your trust wallet and we can do that just by clicking on to enter BNB and you can click receive. And you'll just copy and paste this wallet here. And you can withdraw. On the Binance exchange, it only takes a few minutes for the Binance network to send your BNB from the Binance exchange to the trust wallet. And I'm just gonna go back into my wallet here. So now that we have some BNB, in our trust wallet, we'll actually need to swap our Binance coin to the Binance smart chain. To do so all you need to do is click inside your BNB wallet. And you will just click this more option here. And you will click swap to smart chain. And then you can say how much of your BNB balance you want to switch over to the smart chain. What I will do, I just click this 100% and click swap. And so that's how you swap your BNB over to the BNB smart chain. So now we are finally getting to the good part, I promise. We'll be buying some safe moon soon, they are within reach. And just a few more steps. Now we'll get to the really fun stuff. So we're going to click this dApps button down here to the right of the wallet. And all my history, you can see I've already been using the PancakeSwap exchange, which we'll be using to buy safe moons. 
but if you don't see it there, what you can do is you can scroll down. And eventually you should see this pancake swap. So we're going to go ahead and click that. And while that's loading, what is you're probably asking yourself, what is pancake swap? Pancake Swap is a Binance Smart Chain based decentralized exchange or DEX for short, launched by some anomalous developers with a Pangshang for breakfast food. And the great thing about using Pancake Swap is the extremely low fees and all the amazing features and functionality it offers on the Binance Smart Chain. Right now, Ethereum fees are really high. So it's hard to do the swaps on the Ethereum chain. So that's why we're using the Binance Smart Chain. So now that you've went ahead and you've clicked Pancake Swap, and the DAP is opened in the top right, you will need to connect your wallet. And if you'd like you can set up your profile as well, which you don't really need to do so yet. But as you can see mine is already connected. And so I'm ready to use the exchange, the exchange should open by default. But if it doesn't, you can just go to this menu tab here in the top left. And under the trade, you should see this exchange but I already have that selected. And so we're good to go there. And of course ensure you have swap selected here. And as you can see, we will be swapping BNB, which I have a balance of about 0.11 BNB available to swap. And then under this arrow here, we will be searching for Safe Moon. So let's go ahead and click this drop down menu and Safe Moon's already appearing for me there. But if it's not for you, you know you can just type in Safe Moon here. And if it doesn't pop up, if you don't see Safe Moon come up here, then you can copy and paste the wallet address, I will place that in the video description below, you'll just need to copy and paste that and it will automatically locate Safe Moons for you. Now we just need to enter in the amount of Safe Moons we want to purchase, or how I like to do it, I will just type in the amount of Safe Moons I want to purchase with my BNB. So I want to buy 0.01 BNB worth of safe moon which is about 954,738 or so that if I'm reading that correctly, and so you know whatever you're comfortable with the amount you want to buy. Whenever you're ready, you'll just go ahead and click swap. And as you know, cryptocurrency is extremely volatile, the price is fluctuating constantly. But let's see what happens. We'll go ahead and click confirm swap. And it's waiting for confirmation. It looks like it's going to work on my first pass which is great. And I'm going to be charged a network fee of about $1.22. And I'm just going to go ahead and click approve and my transaction was submitted. So I did just successfully buy some safe moon. But if you do encounter an error, you may need to adjust your slippage fee and increase it. So how do you do that? And what do I mean by that? So let's go ahead and click this button here, this settings button and see my OK, that's why it worked on the first time. So I set my slippage fee to 20%. Here, I think the default is like 0.8. And so you may get an error when trying to buy some safe moon there. So, let's go ahead and set it to like 10 or 12. And just keep on raising it until you don't get that error anymore. So hopefully that makes sense. I can answer any questions you have in the comment section below. So there you have it, you now have safe moons. Let's go ahead and check my wallet. I hope you found this video useful and now you know how to buy the safe moons cryptocurrency. If you have any questions at all, just leave me a comment in the comment section below and I'm more than happy to help you out and answer any questions you might have. And if you want to keep up to date with all my upcoming videos, then make sure you click that red subscribe button and turn on the notifications so you get notified whenever a new video pops up.